Hi, Virgo. I'm going to get right into this message for you today. Take what you need and leave the rest. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. What do they want to say to you but can't? Whoever is on your mind, Virgo, what do they want to say to you but can't? I just saw the eight of the eight of wands somewhere. Yep. So, Virgo, what do they want to say to you but can't? Got the Ten of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. I think this person wants to take care of you, but they can't afford it. They want to give you the desires of your heart, but they just don't have it. <laughs> and I think that this person wants to impress you. Okay. Uh, we have the Nine of Swords and we have the Empress here. This person wants to be the center of your life. You know, they want to give you things that the things that you want, that you've always wanted. You know, this could be somebody trying to come back to you to prove a point. The Eight of Cups, and you possibly have already left this person behind. And this person is, is doing a lot of, of hurting because you walked away from this person because I got the hierophant that popped out too. But I feel like you left this person behind because you this person wanted wanted to give, wanted to do, but couldn't afford it or whatever. They wanted a family, but maybe they, they just couldn't do it. They just didn't have the, the capacity, I'm hearing, to love, but to take care of you and possibly family, you know, your kids, something like that, or family. They weren't ready. They weren't equipped, so they left you out in the cold. They just left. Left you there holding the back for everything. For everything, okay? Uh, you all wanted to marry. He wanted to marry you. She wanted to marry you, whatever, you know? But... This person is sad. I'm hearing, um, you make me happy. Um, Frankie Beverly. Okay. I'll put that song in the comments. So you said this, your person possibly left you. You were left. Okay. You were abandoned. So this person said what they said, you know, and walked away from you. Not only did they, did they walk away from you, they walked away from other people, that your family, your kids, or the child you had together. You, you could have, they could have left you being a single parent to the child you had with them and the child you had when they, before they came into your life, Virgo. They hurt you. They abandoned you. Okay. I just couldn't do it. You know, I, I, I wanted to give you all that you ever wanted and desired in your life the desires of your heart, but I couldn't afford it. You know, uh, this person poss possibly didn't make that much. If they did, they spent it all on possibly restoring a car or restoring a bike or, or like a motorcycle or something, you know. Um, so they spent it all on themselves. They really could have made better decisions. Even if they didn't have enough to give, they were very selfish with, with, with what little it was they did have and left you in a lurch for a lot of the things, Virgo. But uh, this person wants to come back for an offer here. But you may not be interested. So, you know, you've been doing it all by yourself. You've been the mother and the father all by yourself. You've been providing it all by yourself. And in the process of you providing this energy, this financial stability to your family, you're still going to get blessed. You've always been well taken care of by spirit. Okay, so don't underestimate that. Okay? This person want, wants to come back, you know, and they hurt you big time, you know. And, and, you know, they probably abandoned you. You probably stopped hearing from this person. Uh, this person was nowhere to be found. And that really hurt you, you know. And we have here, too bad now. Now look, two of cups. So I got kind of got a feeling that, you know, if this person comes back to you, uh, you're possibly on a, the, the road to healing completely from this person. But this person wants to come back that three of cups, that's what they should have done. That's what they would have done. That's what they could have done, but they didn't, you know? Um, but so they left you. It's like, well, what about me? I have all of these bills. You leave me with all of these bills, this house not to pay, this car not to pay, kids to feed and, and all of this stuff. You're just going to walk away. How dare you, you know? But there's an opportunity of here for you to still keep on thriving and growing in your life. You know, um, we got two of cups. Ultimately, you may just meet somebody else. You will meet somebody else, okay? So I would think that that person who's coming back into your, your life is just ass out, okay? <laughs> so don't even worry about it, you know, because you're being guided to, you've been guided to go somewhere else. You're out of your feelings. Those feelings and emotions for you are done. They still have feelings and emotions for you. They're still sinking in their feelings. You're healed. You know, not 100% completely, but 99.999% healed from their ex. You're done. 
you know. So, mm -mm. nope. They abandon you, Virgo. So the next question I'm going to ask is, how did they feel when they when they abandoned you? Mm -hmm. I want to see what deck I want to use. Speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. Okay. What, how did they feel when they abandoned you? They, listen, I got the strength card and I got the emperor here. And I got the empress. We got the fool card here. I'm just pulling from the deck. You saw I just was going to shuffle. I just took the deck apart. So... You know what? This person left you, Virgo, because they realized that you can stand on your own two feet without him or her. You know, they realized, like, you're doing it all now. You can do it all when I'm not there. Okay? So they left. They left. Yeah, this person realizes that you were everything to them. We got the Nine of Cups, and we have the Lovers here. Uh, they were happy when they were, they were more happier in your, in their life with you than, than they are in their life right now. See, this person possibly have lost something, but they realize you were the best thing that ever happened to them. So they lost you because of what they didn't do. You get it? Because of what they didn't do. Taking better care of you and those kids. It don't take much. If we're going to struggle, we're going to struggle in this piece together. Okay. So this person felt like they were ill-equipped to take care of you, to take care of the kids, to contribute more to the household. If they did have something, like I said earlier, it all went in their pockets, Virgo, and they left you in a lurch for everything, okay? How does this person feel now that they broke up with you? Nobody can be like you, okay? <laughs> I'm actually hearing... No one can eat just one. No one can. I can't. No one can eat just one Lay's brand potato chip. <laughs> you better stop eating them potato chips, Virgo. How many times have I told you about those Lay's potato chips? All right. That's what I'm in my head. But this person, we got the emperor, the three of cups, and the empress. There's nobody like you. They can't find anybody else like you. And listen, they sorry. They they're sorry that they that's that, that they left you alone. That they that they that they disappeared on you here, you know? So they realized that, that the stability of your house shook like hell when they left. You possibly even lost your home or your, uh, where a place to lay your head comfortably. You had to leave out of a place that you really loved because you couldn't afford it by yourself, but you did good. And you know, we got the hierophant here again. So this, this person knows now what a valuable asset you were to their life. So I kind of got a feeling that this person may be trying to make a, re, a resurgence in your life, but you got to honestly understand what this person took you through. Are they even worth it Virgo, to be back in your life again? You're healthy right now, physically, mentally, and emotionally. You're very, very fierce in your life. Your finances are, are Oh, are just okay, I'm hearing, you know, and you're calm. Things are calm in your life right now. So this person going to come back and look at her baby talking about everything in their life, the things that they've been through, you know, so, uh, and kind of like the player energy, but most, mostly this person, they don't have anybody. So they're going to try to think of the best things that they can possibly tell you, you know, talking those sweet nothings in that Virgo and ear of yours, you know, I want you back. You know, I've done this. I've made some major changes in my life. I just want you to give me a second chance, a third chance, a hundred chance or whatever, you know, because this person is coming back home to you. And you're not, you're not, they're like, can I go back home to my baby? I want her back so bad. I want him back in my life so bad. How am I going to get there? You know, so you just got to, you know, understand and be prepared. Mm hmm to say, you know what, I've done a lot of healing without you. You know, we could have worked it out or if we were going to struggle, we could have struggled together. So this person is now is trying to work up something to, to say to you. Like I said, it may just be a lie. It may be some, an inconvenient truth or whatever, but I don't think you're hearing it though. This person is working on something to say, but they know they got to craft that shit real, real good because you're a Virgo. You're going to peek through the BS real quick. Okay. You're not going to want to hear it. You're not going to want to have, you, you're done with all the excuses and the, and the nonsense, you know, and the negativity coming from this person. You are done. But this person is working real hard, you know, to say what they, to say what they need to say. <clears throat> 
let's get some excuses. Why did this person do what they did to you? You know, they ghosted you, they left you, they abandoned you. But what was the grit of the matter? What was the heart of the matter? Okay. I just think the world is so fucked up. We've both been through, been through some jacked up, been with some jacked up people. There are a lot of people in this world you just can't trust. We enjoy, we enjoy each other. Can't we just have sex? And why can't it just stay that way? Just sex. So this person possibly ended up telling you, I don't want to be in a serious relationship. I just want to, I just want us to step back from this right now because it's, it's going too fast. I don't want to get too serious too quick. Let's just take our time. And they just fade it out. Okay. I am your future partner. Somebody different. I am your future partner. I have so much love to give to you. Please accept me into your life when I come. I will be there. I will be the one you meet and feel when you're, when our eyes meet. You will know in your heart, I am the one. I am going to marry you. So you haven't even met this person yet, but they're telling you I am your future. I am the one that does. You're going to fall head over heels in love with Virgo. That's going to be the one that you're going to marry. Spend your life with, wake up to it. This person's not going to leave you hanging. If, if y'all, if somebody's going to hang, y'all going to hang together. All right? <laughs> y'all are going to hang together. I hear Cedric, the name Cedric. Okay. When you needed me the most, I wasn't there for you. I didn't know how to be who you needed me to be. I honestly know in my heart that I am not the person for you. Release me from your heart and energy field. See, this person knows that they're no good for you. I'm not saying that they're not a good person, Virgo, but they're just not the person for you. And they realize this, but this is some past energy. Now this person wants to come back. It's too late now. But didn't you tell me I wasn't good enough for you? Didn't you tell me that you weren't good enough for me? So why are you back now? Release me. Like you said, Wilson Phillips said, release me. Okay. Release me. Let's get this final message, Virgo. Their person, your person. I sit back and think about how bad I treated you. I was I was being selfish and I didn't mean it. I am so sorry for hurting you. I am so sorry, Virgo, for hurting you. This person is is, is sorry, but they are sorry mofo. It's just that simple. That's, it's their fault they lost you, not yours. So don't you ever think that it's your fault that this person walked out of your life. Because if you really think about it, Virgo, you're probably doing a lot better without this person in your life. A whole lot better. Okay. Let's get an overall energy for your, your energy, your essence right now. Because this person abandoned you. What does spirit want you to know all, like, in general? Out of everything else that we've read tonight, what does spirit want you to know overall? <laughs> A windfall of abundance, Virgo. Wise counsel or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. You don't need him. You don't need her. You already got the glories of your witches, wishes coming to you. So no need to worry. All right. I hope this message resonates. Talk to you all later.